Pop Tropica, six tips for Dr. Hair's revenge. If you've been spending much time in that Pop Tropica world's hot air balloon of yours lately, you may have noticed a brand new island on your radar. Until recently, Dr. Hair's revenge has been for members only, but it has opened its doors, or should we say hot air balloon landing pad, to all players. That means everyone gets a chance to throw off Dr. Hair's evil plans, and who would say no to that? Since this island is still pretty fresh, you might be looking for a few tips to give you an edge on that maniacal bunny character. Well, look no further, because I've got six tips for Dr. Hare's revenge right here. Tip number one, do not be alarmed by your superhuman strength. I mean, I knew you were strong, but holy mackerel, did you see yourself lift that massive carrot out of the ground? Spoiler alert, that thing's not even a carrot, it's a massive rocket ship headed for outer space, but still, you lifted it! That's impressive. I know it's scary to be that strong, but you're going to have to face your fears of being insanely powerful in order to face off with Dr. Hare. So, first thing you've got to do is lift that giant carrot-shaped ship out of the cold, hard ground. Tip number two, read the instructions. Okay, so you don't actually have to read all the instructions to get the gist of this place if you don't want to, but you should know that the instructions are there for you, right there on the whiteboard, in fact, if you ever need a refresher. Basically, there are four zones you'll have to get through to beat Dr. Hare. In each zone, there's a series of levels. You have to beat each level to get to the next. That means there's no skipping to zone four, you sneaky swashbuckler. You've got to complete all the levels first. But you know that if you read the instructions. Tip number three, aim for the tough carrots first, save the easy ones for last. Since you're on the clock, you're going to want to maximize your precious time. One really helpful way to do that is to shoot for the harder to reach carrots first, while you have some time to get the hang of it. Then as the timer starts winding down and your adrenaline starts to climb, because duh, it will at least be easier to beat in those final seconds. No need to get all up in your head, you wily collector of carrots, you. Managing your time efficiently will help you stay cool under pressure. Tip number four, it's no big deal if you don't make it through a level before the timer goes off. Listen, I know how stressful it can be to race the clock, but you should know, in the off chance you aren't able to collect all the carrots before the buzzer goes off, there's no need to panic. If the timer goes off while you're still in action, you won't get sent back to another level or zone or anything like that. All it means is that you get another chance to complete the level you're already on. Let's hear it for a second. Third, fourth, uh, uh, unlimited chances. Tip number five, take note of the exit doors. You know how at the start of every big adventure, whether you're on a plane or a ship or, well, a rocket, the flight attendants will tell you to take note of the exits? That's a really smart thing to do here at Dr. Hare's Revenge 2. Why? Because some of the exit doors are harder to get to than others, and the level doesn't end when you've collected all the carrots, it ends when you get to that exit door. So if you've gathered all your loot and you're scrambling to find that door, you could be in trouble. Tip number six, use the map. Driving blind is a recipe for disaster. All great navigators use maps, and Thankfully, you've got a really great map in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Believe me, as the levels get tougher, you'll need it. The map shows you where all the carrots are hanging out, and if you're paying attention to tip number five, it shows you where the exit is located too. The exit will first show up as a red dot because it's locked, but once you collect all your carrots, that little dot turns into a green light. That's part of where you haul your caboose over to that door and get out of there. So there you go, you little adventuring carrot fiend you. Now you've got six amazing tips that will help you defeat that crazed rabbit villain even faster than before. What's that? You want more? Listen, I'd love to give you more tips, really, I would, but it just wouldn't be fair to everyone else. Now get out there and save Pop Tropical Worlds from Dr. Hare's Revenge before it's too late.